Evans. As she gets set to take to the beam. I think one of the mounts that you'll be seeing more often than once will be this style mount in a pike position. Last year, we saw so many of the athletes perform it in a tuck position. This is the most difficult in E element. And she does it again on the beam. In combination, she's supposed to add a jump after that skill. Nice height on that switch side leap. Again, on women's balance beam, we're going to see a lot more combinations, not just the single skills, but done in combinations, whether they be two jumps, two acrobatic skills. Here's an example right there. Hung on. Again, a very young gymnast, 15 years old, and had the new age requirement been in effect at the Olympics, uh, Zhili Ya would not have been allowed to compete. You only had to turn 15 in the calendar year last year in 96. Now the new rules, you have to turn 16. Now, Dan, she mounted the balance beam with a very difficult element. I mentioned it was an E skill. She's preparing to do a triple fit, twist off the balance beam, also an E element. Beautifully oh, done. That was great. That was great. This was absolutely stunning. What a way to end your balance beam routine. Triple twist, an E element, the highest degree of difficulty. It will give her two tenths to add to her score and stuck the landing. Awesome. We're talking all about these bonus skills, these E's, these D's, and the combinations of them. The women have to get one point in bonus back in combination of those D's and E's. The men, 1.4. So Sharapov will have to put